What's going on guys? So as you can see here, this store has generated over $210,000 in revenue. And uh, it's been from April 5th to now June 10th that uh, this store has been steadily climbing. And as you can see, it's just been going up and this is a process of scaling. And I'm going to be providing you with a, a case study on, uh, on the results on this store. And uh, this, this is one of those stores that has the potential to not only cross seven figures, and uh, do a million dollars in sales but also it it can get further to to those eight that eight figure line and uh this is uh why i emphasize the importance of building brands of creating structures like this and this is exactly what i'm going to be covering today so what's going on guys um this is something very important in the beginning process that i want to covered and uh i want to have a, a break, basically a funnel breakdown of, of the marketing angle and the psychology of of everything that goes behind the building a shopify store and uh well the first thing is when you're directing traffic to your shopify site uh the first thing you're gonna notice is the you're gonna be going through this phase of acquisition and awareness uh, and these these customers may have never seen your brand before this is the first time that they're shopping by and they they just they become aware now because you've been advertising your brand to them and uh, sometimes it may take more than one uh, visit in order to for that person to develop a consideration for your brand even to go up to the checkout and then finally when they're at checkout to, to be a uh, part of a conversion which finally they've been able to make a purchase because they they develop some trust in your into your brand or they just like the, the offer something was uh, something was definitely uh, click with them something click with them for them to be able to, to push them over to make a purchase and to trust your brand so and then uh, this is where we transition into not only just being a store just any general store online would you just uh, transition to loyalty and this is this is something that we do by offering good customer service by providing overall value by giving good fast shipping and uh, that's that's how you keep a brand uh, active in 2022 uh, by providing these things and uh, very important to keep uh, in mind that uh, we have you know this is a funnel this is uh this is where all the customers come through uh, a lot of the a lot of the customers that uh, you have now can be recurring customers in the future and that's something to be uh, mindful of so the marketing angle for this product uh, just want to get straight to it it's um, it's based around providing the benefits to, to the people and I want to cover that here below and uh, it goes part into the web page building and that that's this is the area where I want to um, cover because this is how you can improve your conversion rate and uh, dramatically increase your your results so um, I know how a lot of Shopify stores this is a, an issue that everybody makes in the beginning and uh, just not simply aware of that but uh, when when you have a Shopify store at the start uh, what a lot of people will do is that they, they specify they have specifications they have uh, what the, they, they show what the product does but ultimately they don't really uh, teach you any of the benefits so uh, by benefits I mean it's not what the product does it's like what benefit can the product have that can potentially change your life uh, their life in a way uh, positively so, uh, one thing is maximizing profits uh, I, I believe that having the app SMS bump and uh, providing yourself with a with a, a card abandonment email sequence is uh, is very important because uh, a, a lot of money could be left on the table I covered this in my previous videos if uh, if someone has is checking out and uh, they they uh, they sell the product, they just needed an extra push. Let's say you send them an abandon an, an automatic abandoned cart email sequence that said uh, they had a 10 10 percent discount on their order. That could have essentially pushed them out to make that purchase rather than they wouldn't have ever done that if they didn't get that email so uh it's, it's very important that uh, we set up these email sequences and even uh, sms messaging retargeting because you are if you aren't you're just leaving a lot of money on the table and uh, another thing I want to cover is that if you're doing Facebook ads using the app Commently, 
to track your campaigns more accurately is very important because uh, because of the iOS update, there's just been uh, a lot of disc discrepancies with uh, tracking and uh, overall the uh, the way that you can see the uh, the checkouts, the purchase conversions, the 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 purchase the purchase conversion value. There's a lot of things that sometimes are off on your Facebook metrics, and uh, one app that I've been seeing resolve this with a lot of accuracy and I can vouch for and uh, keep note I'm not uh, I'm I'm not paid to promote commonly absolutely not I'm not paid to promote commonly but it is been it has been an app that works really well and I definitely uh, recommend it to to integrate it into your 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 Facebook uh, pixel so you can definitely see with more accuracy what what are the interests that are getting you the best sales and uh, w w what's uh, w what's exactly the performance looking like because uh, one thing is uh, going by uh, metrics that uh, that uh, have loose ends and another thing is going by metrics that are definitely accurate so uh, and another thing is uh, when maximizing profits you want to go back to step one with which is web page building and uh, you know adding extra value to the product uh, I didn't want to make any, this video too long because if uh, really going that uh, it's just this is the fundamental of, of building a, a, a successful brand of building a product that is long lasting that you can potentially scale to seven and eight figures it's not complicated guys and uh, it, it, it just takes you following the the essential guidelines of, of being a well-established uh, business providing good customer service uh, good times good shipping times and uh, you know introducing benefits to that product that uh, that not any other competitor do, dares to do so uh, even going as far as providing a 90-day warranty which is something that not all the brands do but uh, and another thing is uh, getting into testimonials so uh, I know in the beginning it can be difficult to, to getting some testimonials for the product but uh, as soon as you you've you've sold some some products and let's say even your family members if they they enjoy your brand they enjoy that product they can definitely pose up in a picture and then that, that's some worthy testimonial you can use for your site and as soon as uh, other customers start seeing the experiences with your brands written on on the casing and all that it, it just increases the customer trust and uh, it, it definitely elevates you and sets you apart from the competition and that's another thing I wanted to cover here in this video about brand building and uh, the the importance of it because as, as you've seen this store was able to generate more than two hundred thousand dollars in a, in a matter of uh, three months and it's not any different from uh, any any of the steps I've covered here it, all right guys so I wanted to get in depth with the product research which is something that you guys um, definitely have a lot of questions of and uh, I know this for a fact because when I was first beginning to drop ship one of the biggest questions is what is a winning product what does a winning product look like and what do I have to exactly look for so this is one of the platforms which, which I'm not paid for this at all and uh, I, I definitely suggest you guys check it out it's called ppads.com and this website definitely has a lot of things to um it has a lot of things that uh are beneficial and i'll show you now in a moment so it has a winning product section and uh, as you can see here it provides you with just already a filtered list of products that are doing well at the moment and uh and rather than going through aliexpress for hours and hours which sometimes can be helpful but it uh it doesn't really give you the idea if the product is trending or not this definitely tells you it gives you a meter on the like rate on the on the likes on the ad impressions and there's just a lot of things that you can gauge and uh, be a lot more aware of and uh, definitely it, it serves uh, its very useful purpose as you can see this product right here this product right here is uh, is very unique. It's not something that you see all the time. So the like rate is above the roof, guys. This this the like rate is almost nine percent, and they on top of that they have a very creative video. It seems like they know what they're doing with the editing, and uh, good quality. It doesn't seem like it's been taken from. Uh, it's, it seems like it's their own organic video. So uh, definitely 
that's a good product that will be doing good and when you click on this it'll, it'll even tell you how many orders estimated have been made by this ad so definitely useful definitely useful this platform is very good and uh, another thing I want to cover is all right more more products so one of the thing I want to cover is that uh, the like rate I always uh, make sure that the like rate is at least above 1% because that that guarantees that the product has some sort of level of interest something that uh, that calls people's attention so this right here is a turbo air freshener um, let's see how it looks like so definitely you put the AC on and it, it for for the for car fanatics for people that are into this niche they definitely find that very attractive and uh father's day is coming as you can see the like rate on this is is getting higher as we approach and uh yeah uh this is like a gyrosphere uh if you guys re remember the fidget spinner this is a, a sort of a sort of a, a similar edition but uh in its own way you know it has its own purpose but it's pretty cool and the like rate is is decent it's a 1.6 and uh there's just so many products in here in this list that you guys can go through and uh, uh these glasses look pretty cool by the way um this we got this one with a seven percent like rate look at this product um definitely definitely interesting and guys these are products that you're probably you're gonna go to your nearest walmart you're not gonna find this in a convenience store it's very odd that you find this so you guys are positioning yourself in a, in a unique point of point of uh of sale where where people you know you, you serve a unique purpose for sure so uh one of the, one of the other products is the um swimming shorts so summer is already here and uh these swimming shorts are definitely one of those products that look at the like rate 3.8 one of those products that sell like hotcakes right now and if you have the right offer if you have the right advertising if, if you're able to make sure that uh that you follow the, the fundamentals that i talked about you can make this product work you, 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 there's a lot of products here that even this one uh this is a product that did very well in the past on facebook and this product um it's 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 a it's a workout product and that this workout product you can take everywhere you you want it's it's definitely portable and it has a lot of functions and and uh, benefits so uh, I definitely like this platform for doing product research. It's one of those platforms that's really good. And then uh, here we have even more tools so we can select from what country we want to see the advertisement from. So I want to see the advertisement from the US and Canada and uh, the action button. I wanted to be order, um, shop now, learn more uh, and shop now, order now maybe too okay and the platform i wanted to be shopify and uh for the popularity i want it to be 20 20 000, let's say twenty thousand. okay and how many days it's been so you can put at least you know no more than no more than 30 days so you get a fresh advertisement and you can drop this down. So uh, it's, it's not that you want to be strict with these uh, parameters that I put. They're just really good to start with. But you can play around with these parameters and uh, you can definitely find a product that hasn't been seen before. Or it's one of those products where it's not too popular, but it, it hasn't been found on the radar yet. And uh, you can potentially take this product and uh, and uh, dominate the uh, the space with uh, whether and a lot of these products you, you can you know they're, they're for TikTok but they can definitely work on Facebook too so not only does this uh, research platform work for 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 TikTok but it can also be if the product is is good enough it can be transferred over to Facebook and I've seen that myself so it's very good something I would look into and uh, yeah guys I hope you found this video valuable uh, I, I'm more than glad to you know provide more value uh, I want to be uploading on a weekly basis this is one of my goals and uh, if you like this video drop a like please and uh, follow give me a follow if you like this video and uh, I have I'll post my Instagram in the description below so you guys can check me out and uh, yeah guys take care I hope you you have a great summer and uh, enjoy